I guess I better call this woman and see if it's all right. Hope she say yes. Hello? Hey, babe. How you doing? What do you want, fool? Yeah, well, you know, I was just wondering if, uh, you know, I could roll out to Vegas with some of the fellas, you know, do it big out there, you know, go beast mode on it. No. All right, that's cool. Bye. I love you. Dang. How did you do that? Whoa, holy oh, you did it. How? Oh boy. All you have to do is ask. All right, people, you know what it is. It's the first Saturday of the month, so that means it's contest time. So before we jump off into this split screen thing, I need to announce the winner of the first contest. Now, the winner of this contest is going to get a three-month subscription to StudioBacklot.tv. That means they will be getting discounts on gear. They'll be getting tutorials. They'll be getting all kind of stock footage. They'll be getting music, all kind of stuff for the next three months for free. All right. So, let's go ahead and go into our magic jar and pick a winner. All right, what's it gonna be? All right, people, the winner is Keegan Tindall. If you can't see that, I'm gonna be putting your little, you know, logo and stuff up on the screen if you got one. Keegan Tindall, you win a three-month subscription to StudioBacklot.tv. Now, if you did not enter last time, you better enter this time. What do you need to do to enter, you say? I'll tell you. Like this video. Comment on this video. Be a subscriber to my channel. All right? Three simple rules. All right? Easy to do. Do that. And, you know, make sure that you read the contest rules also because there's some other rules too that, you know, certain people can't subscribe. Like if you've got over a certain amount of uh, subscribers, you can't be in it. So read those details before you try to enter. Like, comment, and be a subscriber on this video. And then the next first Saturday of the month, I will announce the winner of another three-month subscription to StudioBacklot.tv. Let's get into this split screen thing, all right? Let's get it popping. Hey, guys. How y'all doing out there? It's time for another tutorial from Pinnacle Studio Pro. All right, I got another request. This time, I got the request to do the split screen effect. So you know I had to bring it to you with all of my might, all of my majesty, and all of my power. Let's get into it. All right, first and foremost, you need to do two takes. You got to take your take of one person talking on the phone or doing whatever the heck you got them doing, backflips, diving in a pool, eating 500 hot dogs, whatever it is you got them doing, all right? Then you got to do your clip of another individual talking on the phone to that other person or throwing the hot dogs in their mouth or being a shark in the water. I don't care. You just need two clips of two people who should be interacting in some way, shape, or form. Now, first thing you need to do when you get that done is you need to put your clip down into the timeline. It doesn't really matter which clip you do. It's up to you which one you want to do first. It should probably be the first person doing the first action before the second person joins in to the clip. Then you wanna take your clip of your second person and bring it down on top of the other clip. All right, now, now that you got that done, you need to get this clip moved into position correctly to where you want the conversation or the person to start talking, whatever the case may be. I'm just gonna go ahead and move it to a good position for me where I like it. I think this is good right here. So I'm gonna split this clip here, or you could just trim it down by left clicking and dragging it to the position where you want, or you can split it and delete it, it's up to you. All right, now I need to make sure that this clip is set up 
where I want the other clip to start. So I'm going to just play this. All right, guess I better call this woman and see if it's all right. I like it right there. So I'm going to go ahead and put a timeline marker here and drag this clip to that timeline marker. Now, it's going to automatically switch to just this clip, and I don't want that. All right, I want to bring it onto the scene how I want it. So I'm going to go to the clip that's on top. I'm going to right-click it, go to Open Effects Editor. Now, once I'm here, I'm going to go to 2D, 3D, and I'm going to go to 2D Editor Advanced. I'm going to change this from default to no preset. And I'm going to change this from solo to show media and tracks below. All right. Now I need to move this bad boy into position. So I'm going to click on position, and the only thing I want to change is the horizontal. And I want it halfway on and halfway off the screen. So I'm going to click on horizontal until it turns blue. I'm going to type in, let's see, negative 50. I'm going to hit enter, and now you automatically got your little split screen going on. Easy peasy lemon squeezy. But you know me, I take it to that next level, the next level. So in order to take it to the next level, I need to do a few things. First thing I want to do is I want to add a border on here because I want there to be some separation between these two, not just the thin line here. I'm going to click on color. And I'm just going to click on the white up here and drag it all the way up into that corner. I'm going to scroll down and then I'm going to click on apply. And now I'm going to change the width. So I'm going to click on the width till it turns blue. And I'm going to use 10. You can use whatever freaking number or color you want this line to be. All right, so I'm good to go now. Got this all set up. But I still want to take it to a but next, next level. But next, next level. That's two times the next level for those who you don't understand me very well, okay? So to take it to that next, next level, I want to bring her onto the screen, all right? So I'm going to go ahead at this point, and I'm going to activate my keyframes by clicking on this little diamond here. And so right now, the first frame and the last frame will be right in the middle, but I want her to come onto the screen. So what I'm going to do is move it to a position right before she like looks down and gets onto the phone. So I'm just going to drag my playhead to a place I think is good. I think it's right, good right there. I'm going to add a keyframe here. All right. Now, this keyframe is still the same. I haven't changed anything. So I want to step back to the first frame, and I'm going to drag this off the screen. It's probably like negative 100 or so. All right. That's good. So now what will happen is as this plays, she'll come onto the screen, and she'll look at the phone and put it to her head. And now I want her to go off the screen as well when she's done. So I'm going to get right to a position, moving my playhead to a position right after she hangs up the phone and starts to put the phone down. Should be good right there. And I'm going to go ahead and place another keyframe here because I want it to still be on the screen. So all between this keyframe and this keyframe, she should be right at the same position. But now what I want to do is move to the last position. And I could either click on the add a keyframe, but I don't really need to. I'm just going to drag her back off the screen. And it will create a keyframe on its own because it likes me. The software does stuff for you when it likes you. It's not doing anything for you. It doesn't like you, but I do. Now let's go ahead and play this real quick and just get a quick look at how it comes on the screen. Hello. And then if I move forward to this position and play, and she'll go off the screen. Now she came off the screen kind of slow. I didn't really like that. I want to get the same position between these two 
or same distance between these two spots. So I'm going to move this to somewhere around the same distance and I'm going to add another keyframe here. And I'm going to see what this last keyframe was. I think it's one negative 102.2. So I'm going to go back to that keyframe and make this one negative 102.2. And now she should go off the screen a lot faster. It is. Click OK. And your split screen is complete, baby. Easy, peasy, lemon, squeezy. Let's get the heck out of here. All right, people? You know the routine, all right? There's a thumb. The one that's pointed in the upward direction click it like it live it love it hug it get a thumb some love all right if you like this video let other people know that you like it all right also comments you know i like comments like a fat kid loves cake so i gotta have them leave me your comments about this video how would you have done it what kind of video are you going to use the split screen effect in if you got any questions you need help with something leave me your comments on that I'll try to help you, but if I can't, I'll point you in the right direction to get you the help that you deserve. And last, but definitely not least, don't you ever forget to subscribe. Thanks for watching. We'll see you again soon. <laughs> Thank you.